Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. It is November 24, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we will all cross the finish line together. First article of interest for today. Baghdad and Erbil towards a final agreement to solve the mystery of the outstanding issues in the oil and budget. A high Kurdish delegation intends to go to Baghdad on Monday, within the framework of the completion of negotiations with the federal government, on the most prominent outstanding issues. The delegation of the region will discuss with Baghdad, the budget for 2020, amid the likely signing of an agreement on the two sides at the end of the talks. According to Oil Minister Thay Mergadbin, the government of Erbil pledged on Saturday to send revenues of 250,000 barrels of Kurdish oil to Baghdad, while oil experts say that the region's exports up to 560,000 barrels per day, as well as quantities smuggled from the fields of Kirkuk and Kayavra the Star, which reaches 65,000 barrels per day. The representative of the Kurdistan regional government in Baghdad, Sunday, November 24, 2019, that the delegation of the region will go on Monday to Baghdad for a final dialogue on the draft federal budget for 2020. Farzissa, in a press statement, that it is scheduled at the end of the talks to be signed an agreement on the federal budget for 2020. The delegation of the Kurdistan region, yesterday, meetings in Baghdad with Iraqi officials, and then returned to our bill and held a meeting with the Prime Minister of the region Masroor Barzani and his deputy Quba Talibani. As for the meeting Saturday, Issa said, will be discussed tomorrow draft budget 2020, and likely to include the demands of the demonstrators and Kurds in the draft budget, and then will be sent to the Parliament, and reiterated optimism to reach an agreement with the Prime Minister today. Demonstrators in the streets of the Sit and in the center of Baghdad and a number of provinces, with slogans demanding the Iraqi authorities to hold the Kurds accountable for the theft of oil money and displaced people and reconstruction. Activists in protest squares, in a report published by the Obelisk, recently, that the region exports 600,000 barrels per day, not as claimed by 250,000, explaining that the average annual revenue of oil sold, estimated at $13 billion. In its latest report, Variety magazine revealed the value of the palaces bought by Mansur Barzani, son of Masoud Barzani, the former president of Iraqi Kurdistan in Los Angeles. The magazine said, Mansur son of Masoud Barzani, former president of the Kurdistan region of Iraq, Barzanistan, bought two palaces in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, one worth $20 million and the other $27 million. Earlier this year, Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi said that the region has not delivered us $1 of the revenues of 250,000 barrels per day, overlooking that the real amount exported. Ali Abdul Mahdi, who has an old friendship with the Kurds, is known to have made all the decisions he made even when he was oil minister reinforced the region's big gains. Hamza al Jawahiri, an engineer and an oil expert, said that most of the energy agencies in the world indicate that the export from Kurdistan is about 560,000 barrels per day, as well as the quantity smuggled from the fields of Kirkuk, which is estimated at 35,000 barrels per day, in addition to other quantities of the fields of Kayara and the Star, up to 30,000 barrels per day. Jawahiri asserts that these oils are smuggled with the knowledge of everyone without indifference or fear of anyone. According to Al Jawahiri, according to the Constitution, all the production of the territory must go to the federal government, and this is the reality that everyone is trying to overlook. Sherwan Mirza, a member of the Finance and Economic Committee in Parliament, said on Sunday, the delegation of the region will discuss with federal government officials on issues of common interest between Erbil and Baghdad, including the oil and gas file, and the Iraqi public budget law for 2020 and the share of Kurds. 
he pointed out that it is hoped this time that the dialogues of the delegations of Erbil and Baghdad will produce positive results, because there is a remarkable rapprochement and understanding between the two sides. It is worth mentioning that, after many exchanges of visits between the delegations of the Iraqi government and the regional government to Erbil and Baghdad, many issues remain pending, including the issue of budget and oil, and the return of the Beshmerga to the so-called disputed. Next article of interest. Kurdish deputy, Barzana's visit settled the file of constitutional amendments. The deputy of the Kurdistan Islamic group Salim Hamza, on Sunday, the status of any Kurdish veto on the upcoming constitutional amendments, indicating the visit of Kurdistan President Nekhervan Barzani resolved many outstanding issues regarding the amendments. Hamza said in a statement to the information that the Kurdish parties do not oppose the constitutional amendments, especially for political reform and its democratic system. He added that the visit of the president of the region Nekhervan Barzani to Baghdad and put a lot of points on the letters and contributed to the resolution of many outstanding issues regarding the amendment of the constitution. Hams said that Barzani told the political leaders in Baghdad that there is no opposition to the amendments provided that the rights of the Kurdish people are not lost or diminished at the expense of other provinces as well as to maintain the federal democratic system. Next article of interest. Barzani to the U.S. delegation. The situation of Iraq affects us and we want to solve the problems with Baghdad through dialogue. President of the Kurdistan region. Nekhervan Barzani, stressed the readiness of the Kurdistan region to provide all assistance to achieve security and stability in Iraq, noting that the situation in Iraq and the demonstrations and events taking place in Baghdad and other provinces affect the Kurdistan region, and promised the assistance of the United States and the international community for Iraq and the Kurdistan region are necessary. In a meeting with Robert Karam, National Security Advisor in the U.S. Senate, and his party. In Erbil on Sunday, Barzani stressed that the Kurdistan region wants to resolve all its problems with the Iraqi federal government through dialogue and understanding on the basis of the Iraqi constitution. During the meeting, which was attended by the U.S. ambassador to Iraq, the two sides discussed the latest developments in Iraq and the region and discussed ways to deal with these developments stressing the need for Iraq to security and political stability and security and a correct understanding of the legitimate demands of the demonstrators and renounce violence. Regional situations and developments in general, the risk of terrorism resurfacing and ways to counter it, the situation of Ibsen refugees in the Kurdistan region, and other issues of concern to the two sides were discussed at another focus of the meeting. Next article of interest. America supports dialogue between Baghdad and Erbil and considers the region an important ally in the region. A U.S. delegation led by Robert Karim, an advisor to the Republican senator, said on Sunday that he supports the process of dialogue between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government, stressing that America sees the Kurdistan region as an important ally in the region. In a statement to the presidency of the Kurdistan regional government received Twilight News, Prime Minister Masroor Barzani on Sunday, in the presence of his deputy Quba Talibani, a U.S. delegation headed by Robert Karim, an advisor to the president of the Republicans in the Senate. He pointed out that the meeting, which was attended by the U.S. ambassador to Baghdad, Matthew Tuller, witnessed the discussion on developments in Iraq and the region, and to emphasize the continued assistance of the Kurdistan regional government, especially the Beshmerga forces in coordination with Iraqi forces to confront the terrorists, is. The statement added that the guest delegation expressed support for the process of dialogue between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government, stressing that America sees in the Kurdistan region an important ally in the region. Next article of interest. Samurai. Pence gave the green light to the Kurds on the sale of oil without involving Baghdad. The former advisor to President of the Republic Lt. Gen. Wafik al samarai details of the visit of U.S. Vice President Mike Pence to our bill, indicating that Pence gave the green light to the Kurds to sell oil without involving Baghdad. Samarai said in a post on the Facebook, saw him.
information that the visit of the U.S. Vice President to Erbil and the base of Assad's eye is not a routine or on the sidelines of an original visit, and not to visit Baghdad is not a detriment to its sovereignty, but according to the context and security controls to protect senior officials from the possibility of danger in unstable areas. Pence's visit to Erbil was important for the region, where it is likely and natural that he explained Barzani the unspoken goals of America's policy and plans in the field of Iran, Turkey, northern Syria and Iraq to commit much of them. He added that, Pence to give him the green light, albeit whispered or indirectly, not to hand over Baghdad oil sales proceeds as well as discuss the relationship of the presidency and visits and results with the countries of the southwest Gulf on the regional turmoil. Samarai said that the visit will increase Barzani a practical departure from Baghdad, and do not expect economic and political flexibility in the deliberations of his envoys in Baghdad, and will increase openness with the southwest of the Gulf, and anticipate public or secret, Kurdish, official visits with Turkey and Iran. Next article of interest. Money is hoarding in the home and the labor market is underfunded. Attempts by one of the depositors to recover the amount deposited in a private bank in November 2018 did not work. WHEN he went to the bank reassured to withdraw his money for the purpose of buying a property, he was surprised that the bank refused to return the money deposited in his bank account with the number 10. The bank, under guardianship, in a shuttle flight of requests and interviews between the administration of the central bank and the bank, guardian and other complaints filed by the citizen with the money deposited with officials in the departments of the banks concerned. The complainant did not get his money and left only the judiciary as an option lastly to recover his money and the material and moral damage done to him. As a result, he took others to refrain from depositing their money in banks. No law. The absence of a law to protect deposits in banks has led to apprehension among depositors with every financial crisis that may hit the banking sector. A few auditors congregate to take administrative procedures related to transactions that require obtaining an instrument for government departments and institutions that collect some amounts for their services. The absence of a law protecting the money deposited to citizens. Hamid Sarin, 55 a self-employed entrepreneur, says, I have a current account in a branch of Al Rashid Bank, but I put a small amount in it in order to go along with some of the financial matters that require dealing in Sukuk. The bank because there is no legal guarantor to preserve our money, if any disturbance occurred banking, political or security. In addition, most government banks do not deal in current account deposits in dollars, which forces the trader to convert the dollar to the dinar in order to filing. Guarantee. Mozin Hamid. 63. Another customer who works as a wholesaler said, deposited money in the bank for the purpose of giving, instrument, to companies or dealers with whom I deal with non-cash commission, and the deposit does not exceed a day or two only, and remains in my balance a small amount of up to 250,000 dinars or Hamid added that people are currently dealing with the principle of trust in government institutions only, but the law remains the guarantor that any emergency puts depositors' money at risk. Although keeping large sums in biote is insecure and also endangers its owners. Non-guarantee solutions the Department of Registration of Companies affiliated to the Ministry of Commerce approved the establishment of the Iraqi Deposit Guarantee Company as a mixed joint stock company, in accordance with the provisions of Article 19 of the company's law No. 21 of 1997 amended. Haydar al-Baghdadi said that this company is working to restore confidence between the banking system and the public, which is hoarding more than 80% of the local currency. Central Bank. For its part, the Central Bank said that deposit guarantee companies were found to support efforts in stabilizing the financial and banking system. In view of the urgent need to set up a deposit guarantee company that would guarantee deposits throughout the Iraqi banking system, the Central Bank prepared a draft system for the establishment of a deposit insurance company for various purposes. Zaha protection of the banking system, and safeguard the rights of depositors, and to increase awareness of the bank, 
by increasing public and companies dealing with the banking system. On January 31, 2018, the central bank announced the signing of the Memorandum of Association for the Guarantee of Bank Deposits with the Corporation, which included government and private banks, including foreign banks. A statement by the bank at the time is expected to have a significant role in this company in protecting the banking sector, especially the deposits of the public, individuals and companies, which enhances confidence in the banking sector inside Iraq and the correspondence of banks outside Iraq, contributing to attract more deposits and reuse and credit investment is a service to the Iraqi economy. He revealed that the capital of the company is 100 billion dinars, including 55 billion dinars from government and private banks, where the proportion of government banks 25%, private banks 30%, and the remaining 45 billion dinars will be offered for public subscription. Protection. In a study titled, Bank Deposit Guarantee Companies and Their Role in Protecting the Banking System in Deposits, financial advisor Walid Idi Abdel Nabi wrote, the primary role of bank deposit guarantee systems is the confidence of the public depositors in the banking system and its ability to protect their deposits, which is the solid foundation and the existence of a banking system. Strong and sophisticated and able to cope with the ongoing changes in the banking industry to be able to achieve its economic and social goals effectively and efficiently. Due to the urgent need to establish a company to undertake the task of guaranteeing deposits throughout the Iraqi banking system, the Central Bank of Iraq has prepared a draft system to establish a deposit insurance company for various purposes, most notably protecting the banking system, maintaining the rights of depositors, and increasing banking awareness through increasing the dealings of the public and companies with the banking system. By the Iraqi Council of Ministers and subject to the provisions of this system Iraqi banks all trust in the law. Legal expert in the affairs of companies and banking transactions Qasim al-Janabi pointed out the feasibility of any guarantee of private funds deposited in private and government banks unless it is supported by an official law adopted by the Iraqi judiciary in the separation of government financial institutions or civil and affected or beneficiaries is the real guarantor the citizen with different addresses, merchant the investor, the businessman, and the owners of financial returns from various other professions, do not risk depositing large amounts in banks for months and years, without a legal guarantor that secures the protection of his money under any emergency circumstances that could be exposed to banks, hundreds of billions of dollars. Nanur stored in houses since 2003 until the current year did not benefit from the banking sector and investment in the recycling of the internal economy, and the reason is the lack of absolute confidence in private banks and even government. In addition to that most banks, especially government ones are still working with primitive means old does not provide options and comfortable in dealing with the owners of capital deposited in banks and there are no outlets for transfers and transactions in foreign currencies from other countries, except through the central administration of the government bank, in other words that the trader or any person with a current account in a government bank cannot deposit money in hard currency, dollar, only after converting them into Iraqi currency, this is one of the reasons why most social groups and segments prefer to store their money in homes in dollars instead of dinars, so specialists in banking institutions, parliament and the government should consider a special bill to protect depositors' money and establish a special immunity to gain the confidence of citizen, investor, trader and even foreign companies. Be sure to like, subscribe and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning, the link is in the description panel below. Tell them that Anarian sent you. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.